Okay, guys, we are going to work on NF1, which is adding um, and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators, and they have mixed numbers added to it, too. Um, there are two ways to go about doing this. Um, last year's class like the butterfly effect, but then they got confused with the hamburger effect. So um, I'm going to show you both ways so that you understand. So you should have this and a sheet of paper just in case we need it. Okay. I'm going to show you the mixed numbers or I'm going to show you the common denominator, which you should have uh, familiar experience with. Um, just a little bit maybe because in fourth grade, you had to add like numbers. This way, you don't have like numbers. So I'm going to start with five sevenths plus two thirds. And that's how you will normally see it written. To go about doing it this way, I'm going to move my numbers vertically. And for a common denominator, you have to think about what seven and three have in common. And for you, some of you can see, oh, it's, if you don't, you can over, come over here and make your table seven, 14, 21, 28, 30, 35, sorry, I think a moment. And then three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. I'm going to stop there because I noticed that 21 and 21 are not my common denominators. That's what they have in common. So 21 is my common denominator. And what you'll notice over here is 7 times what equals 21? You should say 3. So you're going to take 5 times 3 and you're going to get 15 over 21, and then you're going to do the same thing here. 3 times what equals 21? 7. If I do it to the bottom, i got to do it to the top. 2 times 7 equals 14. Now you have what you've been doing in fourth grade with common denominators. Your common denominator is your 21. So now that you have a common denominator, you can do what you did in, in fourth grade. So 15 plus 14, that equals 9 trade uh, and 29. 29 over 21, that means you have an improper fraction, meaning I'm going to have to simplify it. 21 can go into 29 one whole time. I'm going to minus 21 because that's what one whole time is. 29 minus 21 is going to give me 8 left over, over 21. Now, can this be reduced? Can 8 21s be reduced? Well, 8 is an even number, but 21 is not. 21 can only be reduced by 3 or 7, correct? But 8 can't be reduced by 3 or 7, so therefore it cannot be reduced. So that's the common denominator. We'll probably use it a couple times. My kids love the butterfly effect, but pay attention if you want to use the butterfly effect because if you don't, you're going to end up uh, making mistakes. It's like if you use the fishing rod in fourth grade. I know Miss Roberts teaches that, but I know some of you will have had Mr. Smith. So here's your one wing. Seven times two is 14. That goes up top. You got to do it to this one. Five times three equals 15. Your antenna right here, your middle body tells you what you got to do to these two numbers. And right there you would get 29. And then down here to make your bottom of your butterfly, your his, bo his bo back of his body, 7 times 3 equals 21. And so you're once again, you're going to see that you would have gotten 29, 21s either way, which is equivalent to 1 and 8. 21s had you done the butterfly or had you done the common denominator. Either way would have worked. So I'm going to, I want to show you both ways so that you understand. Okay. So I'm going to do it both ways again here. I'm going to do the common denominator first. Oops, I'm going to actually shrink this a little bit up so I have room. 
And then I'm going to come over here and make my four. I'm going to list my factors of four, eight, 12, 16. I'm going to stop right there. And you have eight, 16. I'm going to stop. My lowest common denominator is eight. So I'm going to keep eight. Okay, this one's already two eights. So I'm just going to equal this to two eights. So that eight can stay there. But now my bottom denominator over here is going to become eight. Four times eight. It, four times, sorry, four times what number equals eight? Say two. So one times two is two. Okay, and now I have common denominators. I can add them. I get two plus two equals four eighths. But four eighths can be reduced. So take a moment. You should know how to reduce by now and type in what it would be reduced. Okay, now if I did the butterfly way, I'm going to just use this problem up here. Two times four equals eight. Eight times one is eight. So I did my wings. My antenna right here tells me what I need to do. And then I do my bottom box here, eight. And times four equals 32. Eight plus eight equals 16 and 32s. Now you'll notice that you'll see 16, 32s, and four eights. Totally different numbers. Not in the same sense, they are the exact same numbers when you reduce this. If I divide this by four, I'm gonna get four eights, if I, and then I'm gonna reduce it again. When you do the butterfly method, you're gonna have to reduce sometimes more than you have to do if you do the common denominator. So you need to determine whether you want to use the butterfly or whether you want to use the common denominator. This one's going to use less reducing. This one's going to use more reducing. So that's up to you, however you want to work it out. Okay. But your answer should still say one half. When you reduce 4H, you got one half. And 16 over 32, when you reduce it, you're still going to get one half. Okay. Same thing down here. Take a moment. I'm going to let you solve this. I'm going to pause myself. I'm going to solve it myself. And then we're going to, you're going to type in what you got over there on your um, ed puzzle piece. And then I'm going to, you're going to double check with me. You'll notice that I've done the butterfly up here. And had I done the butterfly, 5 times 7 is 35, 8 times 2 is 16. And then I did my little arch, got me 40. So when I added them together, I got 51 40ths. Okay. You'll also notice that down here, I wrote out my common denominators. And the, what they did have in common is 40. So this would actually save you time, but you don't know that all the time. Um, so then I took over here and I found my common denominators. Once again, it was 35 over 40, which was the same up here. 16 was the same up here. I added them together. I got 51 40 and that is equivalent to 1 and 11 40 -ths. Now, when you're typing it in, you need to make sure that you have one space, 11 backslash 40, okay? Now, we're, when we're talking about subtraction, we're talking about the exact same thing. It's going to run the exact same way. Um, that you would do this. The only difference is you're going to end up having a subtraction sign. Um, now when we get to subtracting with uh, borrowing, that's going to be a completely different story. But right now, all I want you to do is when you subtract it, you're just going to subtract it. You're going to do the butterfly, you're going to do the common denominator, and you're still going to get the exact same answer. So just take a moment and subtract these together, please.